Good evening and thank you for being with us. We start with a theft investigation in Haleiwa. Thousands of dollars worth of equipment was stolen from Little Plumeria Farms over the weekend. While most of the items were recovered, it comes as community members advocate for tougher laws to punish crimes committed on agricultural land. Alina Lee reports. Tensions continue to rise for farmers and ranchers experiencing various agriculture-related crimes and now murder after a rancher in Makaha was shot and killed while confronting a group of hunters on his property back in February. It's extremely frustrating. It's something that we have been faced with for far too long. Everything from trespassing to theft, um, property damages, you know, loss of livestock or crops. The anxiety that it's triggered, not just on Oahu, but on all of the islands, raises is this issue of ag crime writ large. It's really making it difficult for our farmers and ranchers to survive. And now a large-scale heist at Little Plumeria Farms in Haleiwa. By Saturday morning, everything was gone. Skid steers, mini X, trailer, quad was all actually taken. And HPD, fortunately, was able to recover the big stuff. But small stuff, we lost. I mean, chainsaws, weed whackers. It just doesn't end. I mean, there's probably another 30 or 40K of stuff that we actually is missing. He says thieves cut the cameras sometime around 1.15 a.m. They must have had, I don't know, 10 people, I don't know how, up here with different trucks and to tow the heavy equipment. It was just a big kind of operation. Now we can't do our normal day-to-day -day work. We are definitely 100% worried for the future. I mean, got to get more locks, got to get more security, got to be more alert. I mean... That's, I mean, that's all we can do, really. This container was one of two filled with about $200,000 worth of equipment. The Littles were able to recover most of what was stolen, but not without extensive damages, which will also cost more money. If they're unable to sell crops or equipment that they steal, then the payoff is going to be minimal and they're not gonna expose themselves to the risk as much. We've got to develop better relationships between the farmers and ranchers and the, the police. State officials say it's not the lack of laws, but a lack in enforcement making the problem worse. There has to be strong penalty, but with that needs to come enforcement. And without enforcement, it's really difficult for farmers and ranchers to be able to recover from any type of violation against them. Farmers and ranchers are advocating for stricter legislative action to prevent more agricultural crimes like this from happening. Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. 